the time has come. Submission Series 7 of 7 Kimura t-shirt that Hiron is so nicely wearing for us right now. Um, I'm going to read the excerpt, excerpt off the back of the shirt right here so you know what we're doing and where this came from. Originally known as the Reverse Ure Garami, this shoulder lock was renamed when it was used by the Japanese champion Masahiko Kimura to defeat Elu Gracie in 1951. We're going to show you the technique today. Um, very valuable, most commonly used from the side mount position. And uh, if you're going to wear the shirt, you have to know the move. So check it out. You don't lay down right here. From the side mount control position. Okay, you're dominating the position. Of course, the main concern anytime you achieve the side mount is to control your opponent to make sure they don't get out. So you have your inside hip control, you're blocking here, or you're controlling here. You have a standard side mount position, hips low. Eventually, the person calms down and you decide you want to move on to the attack. So, what you want to do is bring this elbow over the head, okay, and bring this hand to block the inside hip. And you want to find this arm right here. Now, there are a variety of positions that this arm might be in, under the body, whatever. So, what you want to do is look for the opportunity, any opportunity to sneak up, grab a hold of the wrist. Okay, and shove the wrist to the ground. As you do, you can save time by having this hand underneath your arm already. So, stepping over, wrist to the ground, and grabbing your own wrist. The grips here, you can have a thumb grip with the thumb on his wrist, but the one you grab your own wrist with doesn't really matter. You can have a thumbless grip for control. Okay, some people prefer thumb, no thumb. This one right here, I prefer to hold with the thumb, however. Once you have this lockup right here, okay, this 90 degree lockup, wrist here, heat on double bent, facing down. What you've got to do is now break the arm. Because we have the control, but we need to rip the arm. So I'm going to switch my hips facing his head. Switch my legs. Okay? And from here, what I want to do is take this back leg and step over his arm, over everything, and pin his head down right here. From here, keep a wide base, foot on the ground, hold his head down, and as I lean back, his hand is going to slide this way. So I pull up on his shoulder and elbow, and the hand goes towards my foot. Done deal. Sometimes his arm will be stuck in here, other times they'll be trying to block my leg, so when I step over, his arm will go out the back. And that's the way it's pictured on the t-shirt. So, don't be confused, his arm can be in either spot, and it'll work nonetheless. One more time, so we're here. Sometimes when the person is hiding his arm under their body, what you can do is make an attempt to mount on the person, and they'll try to prevent your mount by using their hand to block your knee. So as I creep, he blocks my knee. As soon as he blocks my knee, grab the wrist, shove it down, and sneak under. When you sneak under, go palm up, so you can get under easier, and then hook your own wrist. From here, turn your hips, and when you do that, your elbow drops to the ground right here to keep your arm secure. Switch the hips, high step over the head right here. Balance, step over, okay? If the arm goes out, no problem, you want the arm out there. This bottom leg, if it's too relaxed, you're off balance. So make sure that when your top foot is over, your back leg is extended out to the side for your counter base. And that this knee stays in front of his neck the whole time. If this knee opens up and you start to squeeze, he's sitting up with you, no pressure. One common mistake that you see uh, people making is they'll achieve the, uh, the arm control and all they do is lift the shoulder up. The problem is he can easily sit up with it. So that's not as effective as it would be if you step over the whole world. Now notice how easily I'm stepping over. It's because I'm sitting facing this direction. If I stay squared up, that step is very difficult to make. So once here, switch the hips. High step, foot by the ground, knee in the neck right here. Lean back and push the hand that way. The hand slides. And because he can't sit up, all of the pressure is on his shoulder, rotator cuff. And if you wanna know what type of damage you're imposing on your opponent or your victim, Check the back of the t-shirt. It's all there, as always. What am I missing? Nothing. It's great. Thank you. Keep it real and keep it nice.